This is one of the craziest paradoxes that I've ever seen. I've picked two numbers and written one each on a piece of paper. I'm going to put them down, shuffle them up, and then show one of them to you at random. Your job is to guess whether the other number is higher or lower than this one. The question is if you can do this with better than 50% odds. Now, that sounds ridiculous. You have no way of knowing how I picked the numbers, and on top of that, I chose one at random to show you. But shockingly, the answer is yes, you can beat the odds. The strategy to beat the odds is shockingly simple. You pick your own random number, say, according to a normal distribution, and then compare it to the revealed number. If the random number is bigger than the revealed number, you guess that the revealed number is the smaller of the two. If the random number is smaller than the revealed number, you guess that the revealed number is the bigger of the two. That's it. That strategy works. And here's why. If the number that you picked is bigger than both of them, then because I revealed one at random, you have a 50% chance of getting it right. And if the number that you picked is less than both of them, then you also have a 50% chance of getting it right. But if the number that you picked is between the two, then you're guaranteed to get it right. For example, if the random number was 2 and 1 was the revealed number, then we would say that 1 is the smaller number because 1 is smaller than 2, and if 489 was the revealed number, we would say that 489 is the bigger number because it's bigger than 2. And since, at least if you pick according to a normal distribution, there's a chance that the number you pick is between the two, you have a greater than 50% chance of getting it right. This paradox shocked me, because even with absolutely no information about how I picked my numbers, you can still do better than 50%.